Siddhartha in Mumbai, India writes to me, I have a cadence hybrid amplifier made in India. It is classified as class A up to 20 watts and the total rating is 36 watts. What does that mean when we say partial class A? Okay, basically it's a little bit of marketing speak mixed in with some engineering stuff. Okay. If your amp is not pure class A, and very few of them are, class A amplifiers, the traditional meaning of a class A amplifier is that it draws twice as much as it produces. So a 100 watt class A, pure class A amplifier draws, when it's idling, will draw 200 watts out of the wall. And that 200 watts goes into heat and it makes heat, they run hot. When you start playing it, instead of that 200 watts going into heat, some of it goes into your loudspeaker. Thus, in a Class A amplifier, the more wattage you put into your speaker, the more efficient or the less heat, not efficient, because <laughs> it's always the same efficiency, sorry, the less heat is going to be produced. Unlike a typical amplifier, the more wattage you put into a loudspeaker, the hotter it gets. This is exactly the opposite. A class A amplifier is the hottest when it's doing nothing. And as it does more and more, you're putting, let's say, 100 watts maximum into the speaker, then it's only 100 watts in heat. So the heat actually goes down. Okay, all that said, those are rare. Every amplifier that is not a class D amplifier is called an AB amplifier, which means for the very first something or other, it is class A with this same impact. Um, that's when you turn an amplifier on and it's been on for an hour and you feel it and nothing's been playing, it's kind of warm. That's that class A business, right? Just like I described. Like our amplifier runs at, I think the BHK is 100, no, 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 no more. It's more like 30, 40, 50 watts, something like that, of constant class A heat. Okay, and what happens is <clears throat> when the signal is small, this is an AB amplifier, um, the very first, you know, bit, maybe, I don't know, a few volts is running in class A. And that's the thing where it's sucking the, the, the heat is going away and it's going out and then the signal is going into the amplifier. At some point in a class AB amplifier, we get out of that class A region, as I described, and it goes into class B. This is where the amplifier is only on during the cycle of the, like the positive cycle, the positive half of the amplifier is on only when there is a positive signal. And then as that positive signal goes away, it turns off except for this little bit of class A-ness, right? So amplifier is always on, a, a positive, negative signal, it's always on. It comes up out of it now, it's on only for here, for the plus, and the minus is off completely, except for this little bit of minusness here. It's off, and then it comes down here, and now the minus is on all the way to make this sine wave work. This is off, this is still on just a little bit, and so that's how it works. It goes in and out of class A, and that's what they mean by partial class A. Some amps have a bigger always on, some amps have a smaller always on, and that's that class A range. Hope that makes sense. Thanks.